a show I don't think I can talk about nearly as long. Hannah on Amazon. And we already talked about it once. Uh, episode one premiered after the Super Bowl. We were cautiously optimistic about it. I thought it was a pretty good episode. Uh, we're doing a full season review. So if you haven't finished Hannah, maybe you want to go back and finish it. I don't know if it really matters. Uh, what were your thoughts on season one as a whole? Yeah. And just to recap our pilot talk real quick, I thought it was a really effective pilot because it condenses the plot and then in turn separates Hannah mm-hmm. from Joel Kinnaman right away. Like, and it's like it sets, it sets up the series, the final seven episodes in a good spot. It didn't, uh, spin its wheels too much in the pilot. Unfortunately, the rest of the season did a lot of wheel spinning because I feel like, and I feel like I know that this story was just padded on and that just there was not enough plot to justify even eight episodes. Um, yeah. So I, I was underwhelmed uh, significantly by the whole season. And like really what stood out to me was just that I was never really surprised by anything, nor was anything I was seeing new. I, I've seen all of this done before in some fashion. So mm-hmm. it's not that it was bad. It's just it didn't really tick off any boxes I, I wanted. You know, what about you? Oh, I mean, uh, just from my preview, I think you probably know I didn't I didn't love the season. I thought it was OK. Uh, there were some really good action sequences and some uh, some interesting like teenager exploration of self type stuff that I found interesting. But the rest of the time, especially the stuff with I believe her name was Marissa, played by uh, Marielle Enos, like seeing like her family and that sort of stuff. I just didn't find that interesting at all. Um, and I think like it was kind of cool as point to see Kinnaman's character and Enos's character, like putting themselves in these like mind games, but then it just started to feel super repetitive and like there wasn't actually any progress in terms of plot or where the show was going. It just was like, gotcha. Oh no, I got you. And like, it, that was the back and forth. Meanwhile, you have Hannah just kind of like coming in and out of there back and forth and exploring right. who she is the whole time. It just felt, I don't know, but, Hannah season two is going to be coming to us. It was just re up, so people mm-hmm. must have liked this. Yeah, and like I'm trying to think, like, what do you do for a season two? Because Kinnaman's dead, and again, his perhaps his role in a story about Hannah shouldn't last for seasons on end. I get it, but I'm just trying to think, like, what are they going to do in terms of uh, returning characters? I mean, the whole detour Hannah she goes on with um, the family which is adapted mm-hmm. from the movie the show is based on, of course, but going back to that. And as you mentioned, like I thought there were some cool ideas about her learning lots of social interactions and be- realizing what it's like to be a teenager in real time. Right. Mm-hmm. Some cool ideas there, but they, they, they only just touch on it before they have to get to the next action set piece. Yeah. So I just feel like it just went down the middle, never committed because there's also not that much action. So if you're really into the cat and mouse thriller aspect of it, that also comes and goes. So right. it just ultimately it's like it's like Black Widow, Red Sparrow mixed with really toned down sex education. Like it's just a whole mix of things you've seen before, but not executed on well enough. Um, so, yeah, I'm not anticipating season two. And I also uh, was like, wait, a minute, there's a Billie Eilish song in this year. This show wasn't good enough. I to know. Get a Billie drop. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, no, that that caught me off guard a little bit too, but I uh, didn't hate it necessarily. Um, yeah, it's interesting because I think it, this show was just more weighed down by, like you said, there wasn't enough here for eight episodes. Four or five, I feel like we could have done a pretty effective short series. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Season two, not looking forward to it either. 